What happens if you farm way too much? This happens. Nerd alert, watch out guys. Seriously, when I started farming Capcat, I had no idea he was such a beast dropper. I mean, I used to get like 15 or 20 greens during my 200 runs, but this was something else. 123 greens, more than 60% chance, and what's even better are the double green drops. I've got 16 doubles, also 5 elite monk tomes, those are not bad either. Ok, now the bad news. If you want to farm this boss in a classic way, this is very very hard in hard mode. Why? Because there are a lot of fools around Capcat, he's a decent Prater monk, his allies can interrupt with D-Shot, there are like 4 groups of scarabs patrolling around the nest, and they have vampiric touch, also the high number of traps. All in all, I've done like 300 runs, and a good amount of those were, were fair runs. Just to show you how difficult this area is, I brought you some clips. Fail number 1, 55 HP Mesmer. I knew I need one of reserve to prevent interrupts, but of course I forgot about Vampiric Touch. Sadly Prat Spirit doesn't protect against touch skills, later it turned out that nothing really can defend uh, against those. There is only one skill, uh, yeah, the Paragon Shout, you can touch this, but that only works for a short period of time. Ok, I thought, uh, what if I go the other way around and try a VUS Dorf build? Great DPS, great selfie, what can go wrong? As you can see, simply running into the nest is a very bad idea. Let's bring uh, teleport skills instead. This charge could work. Things went kind of decent for a while. I killed some scarabs, the boss was around 50% HP, then the well of the profane happened. So I survived the touches, the interrupts, and then the well removes all my enchants. At this point, I knew this won't be an easy task. Switch back to Maz and try the more HP version of the Invincible Monk build. Sadly, the high number of fools made things difficult. Also, I'm not sure uh, if Spirit Bones triggers against okay, task kills or not. Later, I had some almost kills with Dorvish. Guess with all the possible pecans, concepts, and the lucky spawn I could get Capcat, but this wouldn't be worth it anyway. And later, I tried some degen to death tactics on my Ranger. Again, the patrols made stuff way too difficult. And I had to accept the fact Capcat and his company are too powerful. Once again, I'm gonna rely on my heroes to clear out the place and get my 200 runs. Using spirits is a good way to solo things, all I need is a nice and empty area around the boss. And uh, guys, let's see a successful run finally. First of all, enter Prophet's Path from Ogre Rock and play some spirits. They are important during the running phase, fagging heroes and the speed boost, these two things are must have for quick runs. Spirits work as tanks or meat shields in the first part, without them it would be too hard to run away from the monsters. Also you can teleport your spirits when heroes are in safety, and once you reach the last part things change. Here minotaurs, devourers are hostile to the scarabs, so they can kill each other occasionally. Uh, but try to focus on the moving scarabs if you can, they will always cross the nest and mess with our runs. Once you have killed enough of those groups, go for the boss. Sometimes he is hidden and you must go close to, to him to pop up. Good to know, once any of the nest scarab builders are dead, you can lure him out of your heroes, uh, flag the heroes somewhere back and kill Capcat with the spirits. When the names in the party window turn grey, then you can kill him, all drops will be yours, heroes can't reach. Like I said, sometimes enemy groups kill each other here. In this clip uh, I got some Minotaur help to kill the boss, and as you can see I still got his green. I guess as long as you do the majority of the damage, you get drops. Now some of my best runs, 2 greens and an elite tome, and an even better run with 5 drops. And sometimes I forget to flag heroes in time, but I still was able to get elite tomes and greens too. And now let's see how Capcat has done along the other bosses. With 5 elite tomes he is in the middle of the list, but if we consider the time of the runs, which is more than 4 minutes on average, then this is not the place we should farm for elite monk tomes. On the other hand, his green is great for shadow form builds, weight tier farms, etc. and doesn't take too long to get one or two from him. So guys, this is how to get Capcat's Refuge. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe to the channel, like the vid. Thanks for watching and see you later.